Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna go over a LinkedIn post that I did last week. So as you can see on my screen, so we're coming to the end of the year, right? So I wanted to see and hear from everyone about different certification training. The reason being because everyone always asks me what certifications to get, what kind of certifications to do for cybersecurity or penetration testing or blue teaming, whatever the case may be. So I wanted to hear back from you guys. What are you guys looking to go for in 2026, right? So obviously, you know, I started in a, a company, ISP Security. So if you're on LinkedIn, you can go ahead and follow that ISP Security CO. And you can see it, you can find it on my InfoSec Pat and all that fun jazz. But this is about this poll right here. Which pen testing certifications are you telling your friends and others to get in 2025 going into 2026? If you have something else, please comment below. So I wanna tell you mine, but I'll tell you mine more towards the end. And we have Hack the Box, and I'll tell you why I chose those, right? We have offensive security. You know, people are fans or not fans, but Offsec still has a gold standard in the industry. EC Council. So EC Council is good. Like if you do your CEH, I know that gets clowned on a lot, but if you get in, into government or DOD, you need your CEH and Security Plus. And then the last one down here, I only had four slots and we'll go into the actual comments and stuff like that. So Security Plus, Pentest Plus, and you have CYSA Plus, and you know, I have the different companies up here, so we're gonna go into those as well. So I did get 571 votes, so thank you everyone for voting. And it looks like Hack the Box was the winner. I didn't think anything less. I knew Hack the Box was gonna be the winner, and I'll tell you why shortly. So if you come down here, obviously for the fifth one, you have TCM security, like PMPT, PJPT, and their web application certifications as well. And then, you know, like George put here, you know, White, White Knot Labs. I haven't tested out any of their training, so kudos. They sound like they have pretty solid training. And then you have, you know, Kenny from The Block. He's always good. Hack the Box is probably his favorite because he has the cape. He's all caped out. Talking about cape, I will be taking it very shortly. I completed the course, the path, which was a pain in the butt, but I did it. And uh, so there's other ones, you know, hack the box, hack the box, and, and so many other ones. You guys can check that out for yourselves. So let, let's go to hack the box certifications. And I recommend these first and foremost because I really, really enjoy their training. And in the beginning, it was tough for me to really wrap my head around the way they did their training because it's strictly just words. It's not videos. I was so used to learning with a video and following along. But don't get me wrong, you know, that's always gonna be my favorite because I have my video and then I have another uh, another monitor so I can practice alongside if there's a new technology or new st you know new stuff that I'm learning. But Hack the Box by far is my favorite from TCM, from uh, EC Council, CompTIA, and you know I haven't taken any offensive security certifications, so I can't really speak on that. But uh, I did, but that's a whole nother story for another day. Uh, I got scammed. Yes, I got scammed. All right, so what do we have here? So Hack the Box certifications, they have a junior cybersecurity associate. This, I, I, I have the voucher for this, so I will be probably taking this after my cape, which is like, why are you gonna take that if you have CPTS and all these other ones? because I got the voucher and I really wanna check it out. The thing about this certification, you do blue teaming and red teaming, or offensive and defensive. As you can see here, you know, you, you know, you're conducting a SIM assessment, and you're gonna look at different security monitoring, analyze traffic, network traffic, uh, logs, uh, detecting intrusions and all that fun jazz, hands-on experience. And then you get your uh, CPTS, right? pen testing uh, specialist. So this was really hard. This was not an easy exam and I can only imagine how CAPE is. But you know, for the, for, the, for the amount for 490 bucks in the US, this is definitely hands down, you know, the best certification in my opinion because 
it gives you such a broad spectrum of, of knowledge. And on the exam, you touch so much. You know, like the PMPT is really good because they have a debrief. So you get that experience, but they don't touch really web app. They don't really touch APIs. They don't really touch any of that. They have their own certifications separate from like the PMPT, right? But your uh, CPTS, you're touching everything, right? So, and then web exploitation specialists, this is, the, you know, the old CBBH. So I took it when it was a CBBH. So I definitely think this is a, a good one too, if you're getting into web application and all that fun jazz. And then CDSA, I did complete this track. So maybe one day I'll take this just for shits and giggles. Uh, CWEE, I don't see myself taking this anytime soon because web apps is not really my thing. And then this bad boy, I'm definitely going to go for the Cape. This is going to be, obviously I'll talk more about it once I pass <clears throat> or once I take it, even, you know, hopefully I pass, but even if I failed, I'll definitely do a review video on this no matter what. And this is about 1260 bucks. And yeah, so hack the box is my number one, right? If you want to get certified in 2020 six because we're ready in november definitely check out hack the box that's hands down the number one so and then offsec and the reason why i put offsec second is because they have their golden ticket in the industry right hack the box may come around the corner one day but you know every single job that you look for a penetration tester oscp oscp so this is definitely certifications that you should definitely look into OSCP plus OSEP, OSWA, OSWE, you know, and all these fun ones here and OSWP. This would be a really, really cool one because I really like Wi-Fi pen testing. So that looks pretty cool. And I guess this is maybe a Black Friday deal. But yeah, you can definitely look into this. Like, for example, pen, uh, OSCP, it's 1700. So you know, it is what it is. And then OSEP is 1750 as well. And you can get like a $550 discount. Maybe this is what I'm understanding correctly. But yeah, so OSCP, <clears throat> OSEP will definitely be ones that you should definitely look into if you're looking for penetration testing certifications. And then let me move this over here. And then TCM. So TCM, obviously, you know, no matter what I have love for them. And then their certifications, you have the network PMPT and P, a PJPT and PMB, PMPT. Um, and I believe they're coming out with a PNPE, uh, like an expert, you know, doing some maybe like maybe um, more certificate stuff and I guess more, more AD driven stuff, maybe com compare it to like maybe the Cape or something like that. I don't know. I just heard rumors that they're going to come out with an expert level. I think they already came out with an expert level at web apps. Yeah. PWPE. So, and from my understanding, the PNPT, and if I'm wrong, please put it in the comments. If you listen to this, I believe PNPT is the only one that you have to do a debrief. Um, I believe. I can be totally wrong. I haven't really checked out too much of these. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I can just probably read it here. See uh, how to prepare. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't really want to read that now, but I think from, from my understanding, PMPT is the only one that you have to do a debrief. Okay. And the next one is going to be like EC Council. So EC Council is good just because the CEH is DOD, you, you know, you can look at the course. It's not very difficult. It's a multiple choice uh, exam, but it's, it's really, really good to get this if you're looking for, you know, government work. So like government in the military, who is this for cybersecurity? CEH is trusted and uh, highly valued globally by government departments and defense bodies, right? So that's why I did it. You know, back in the day, I did this because, you know, we wanted to maybe get a government job one day and it didn't happen, but <clears throat> I, I still have it. I still keep it up to date. Um, like, say, for example, if I have to do a FedRAMP engagement, I'm able to do FedRAMP and all that stuff. So, 
it it, it definitely holds its value um and next one here is comptia i just went on comptia and i seen a whole bunch of new certifications i haven't been on comptia in a minute okay so if you go into cyber you have a plus cyber i don't know if this is like the certification let me see because i'm curious now is like a plus cyber is the actual certification a plus cyber uh do, 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 do. I don't really know. Let's see. Buy now. So I don't know if this is the certification or this is just maybe training. All right. Let's see. Begin training with Security Plus and around 20 hours instructions. A Plus Security teaches you how to secure devices, home networks. So it's pretty much like an A Plus with a little bit of cyber. I, I get it. I think I get it. All right. So let's go. Let's go back um, to our so and then other ones you have is cysa plus like this one ethical hacker pro i don't really know what that is either pentest plus and sec ai plus come in february so let's see this one this one looks pretty interesting ethical hacker pro so i'm guessing this is like a wireless security this is pretty cool test your uh, network's vulnerabilities so ethical hacker let's see what this is all about and see what we're getting ourselves into here you know comp i guess is moving up their game this is version one uh perform scanning scan network devices discover wireless devices scan for iot devices detect operating systems applications identify open ports scan for vulnerabilities perform enumeration enumerate network resources using in groups and so on and so forth so you have to gain access obtain login credentials crack the passwords using uh, use social engineering this is pretty cool crack wi-fi devices obtain credentials via uh, sniffing so you're probably using like air crack ng and this is pretty cool this is pretty neat so comptia has come a long way and like the uh like other people were saying, you know, there's other companies out there as well. Whoops. There's other companies out there as well. And I'm sure there's so many awesome companies and awesome certifications. And there's a quadrillion of them out there, right? But these are the ones that are known today in 2025, going into 2026, that, you know, there's a CRTO as well. So some zero point, that's a really good one. If you're good at getting into more red teaming perspective. And I think it's like the, let's go check it out. I think it's the CRTL and CRTO. Let's see, CRTO certification. And then it's also CRTP, which is certified red team professional from altered security. So like zero point, let's go ahead and see and exams. Let's see, and you can see right here, you have Red Team Ops, <clears throat> and then Red Team Ops 2, which is the Red Team Lead Certification. So you can click here for more information. And then, you know, this is how it was when I when I took it. You had eight, uh, eight flags, I believe, or yeah, eight flags. And I think you need six or seven to pass. Let me see, maybe it says it here, and I'm, uh, how many do you need to pass? Uh, yeah, you need six out of eight to pass. And I believe when I got my sixth one, I just, I literally quit. You know, I was like, oh, I'm good. Um, so I didn't do seven and eight. So yeah, you know, you can check out CRTO. It's a hundred pounds. Um, and you can just pretty much book it whenever you're ready. So that's that one. And then one more, I guess I can show you since it came up. CRTP from Altered Security. So this is a certified red team professional. And I think this one, I hear, I hear good things about uh, this certification. And, you know, this is a beginner friendly hands on red team certification. I don't think it's so much red team. I think this is more like active directory pen testing because it says like active directory attack and defend lab. So I believe we can go down and see the network. Here we go. So <clears throat> you know, you're the attacker right here. You go to the internet, you have a VPN, student machine, firewall, parent domain. So this, I believe, is the network that you get to attack or get to practice on. This is a similar environment to your exam, <clears throat> which I think is really cool that they actually showcase this. I think I'm, hopefully I'm not getting sick. My throat is starting to hurt. 
but yeah, this is another good one to put on your arsenal if you just, you know, if this is something that you're into. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So if there's something I missed, what are the certifications you know about? And if there's certification that you're working on today that you have any questions about, please leave it in the comments below so I can see it and then others can help you out as well. Before I let you go, Again, I just want to promote ISP Security. We are a cybersecurity pen testing firm that we um, help you know small businesses with their pen testing needs, uh, compliant readiness, and all that fun jazz. So if you have any questions about that, email me at info at ispsecurity.co. It will be in the description so you guys can find it there. And just recommend anyone to the firm and I will give you guys a referral bonus if they close a deal. So yes, I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one.